Hey guys, my name is Sydney. I go by the PS and X Derby Sydney, and that's how a lot of you will know me. I play on the PS4 Pro, and that's exactly where you're getting this footage from. For over 10 years now, I've been a mid range recon. I'm not a good long range sniper. I played in mid range, for example, in BF1. My longest headshot is 370 meters. So that would go to show I don't sit off the objective. I like to play the objective. Don't play much vehicle gameplay. I have zero stars in this beta with vehicles, so I'm not even going to really address them in any substantial way. I've gotten at least a star or two of every class and about 20 stars of the recon since this beta's release. However, I don't know much about vehicle combat and I'm not too well versed with other classes, so I'm not going to provide information too much on that. It's going to come from the lens and the eyes of a sniper. That's just how it's going to be. I'm going to start off the video talking about what I really like about this beta. I've really enjoyed it since its release, and I'm, I'm genuinely a bit upset. I'm not, not necessarily upset, but I'm not hopeful for it uh, going away. I don't want to return to BF1 at this point. I really like this beta. Now, the first thing I want to start with is that guns, gunplay feels good. It feels like we've returned to BF4, where you, where you shoot is where your bullets go. Um, you can you can play outside your range, you're viable at other ranges, and, and the guns have recoil patterns. They're not all stock standard. I like that different guns have different feels. I like that you can go about upgrading your guns now, something that has been a staple of the series, but absent from Battlefield 1, and I feel as if damaged the longevity of the game massively. Not having the ability to make the gun your own, Decreased playtime, and I'm sure will increase the amount of time you can play Battlefield 5. Just being able to switch and choose up how you your your brawl with different weapons. Sniping was rewarding. Sim I don't know if this is down to the headshot hitbox being increased or if it's down to sweet spots going. Whatever it is, sniping feels like skill again and heart again, not a mathematical equation of knowing your range, knowing that your rifle can kill between 40 and 80 meters if you eat them in the, in the chest. I didn't like that, it wasn't skillful, it didn't have much of a learning curve, however Battlefield 5 having to learn to go for the head, aim at the head and learn bullet drop and all that will inherently increase playtime and increase the skill curve which is never a bad thing. Customization is nice, however the only, only gripe I have is I'd like to change my reticle. I didn't like the reticles that were available. I like the scopes, but not the reticles. And also the zoom distance. There's a big discrepancy between the medium scope and the long scope. The medium scope, I'm not necessarily sure, but it feels like a 2.5. Whereas the long scope's like an 8 or a 10. It's absolutely ridiculous. Have it be similar to BF1, where you can change its range. Have, have the long scope be able to do... 8 till 10, um, 8 till 20, and then have the medium one be able to do, you know, 1 through 8. That's how it should be. Other customization feels good. I, I liked running around my league field with a factory new receiver, but the captured stock and top of your guns, so it looked a bit old, but it also had a nice shine to it. The upgrade tree is good, and... I like how it's versatile, but I don't like that you have to purchase other weapons to change it up. I'd rather be able to switch on the fly. I think that's probably where they'll eventually go with their decision, just from what I've heard from other content creators. Infantry gameplay feels balanced. Uh, it's not so based anymore on whether you're using an assault gun, so you have to stay close within 30 meters. Or if you're using a medic or a support, so you don't get too close, so you don't get mowed down by them automaticos. There's a scout staying out of those, staying out of the ranges where you're going to get suppressed or burnt by you know other players too quickly. It's skillful now. Everyone is viable in every range. It it, it provides a again more skilled experience in the, in the game and increases the skill curve. Something which is again never ever ever bad. The only problem at this point is that a close range gameplay of the recon is, is very weak and I don't think that's down to anything malicious or them wanting to nerf the recon, 
but that the time to kill in this game has been increased quite significantly. However, pistols are killing at similar speeds. The P38 kills literally at the same speed nearly as a P08, which is a very unpopular gun, and the Ruby is a very similar pistol to the Fromaster. It kills quite nicely, but again, it still feels slow compared to your assault weapons. If you want your scouts and recon supporting you on your objectives, you need to give them the ability to be somewhat viable in close range. Don't get to the point where people think pistols are OP. Just have it like BF1 where if you die to a pistol, they were, they were more skilled. Not that it was a, a broken experience, that the gun was overpowered and it was an unfair fight. When it comes to the bad, I do not like how they change the damage models for snipers. When I play with a sniper, I want to be hitting hard. I want to hit for 80 in the chest. And I understand people are going to be running around with less health, but if you're going to decrease the damage of a sniper, you need to decrease the damage of all, all, all guns, not just a sniper. Um, my bolt action Lee Enfield hits for the same amount of damage as my semi auto rifle. That's not right. Um, if, if, if I want to use a bolt action rifle, make it beneficial, don't make it a chore. Because at this point, you give me a bolt action rifle, it shoots at one third the speed of a semi auto rifle that kills in two shots. It doesn't make any sense to choose the bolt action, especially when that semi auto can hit for a one shot headshot. By the way, I'm, I'm referring to the second scout rifle at this point. Um, I'm just another point is if we've lost a sweet spot, it doesn't feel like damage needs to be nerfed. You've removed something that increased kill speed from it scouts dramatically, and with it gone, you're going to feel the skill of scouts, the discrepancy increase. There's going to be a lot more better players, a lot more worse players that will probably migrate onto easier classes. My expectation being medic with this battlefield. Seeing as they're getting close range SMGs. Specializations make a return as well, but they're much better. They're tied to combat roles so they can be balanced and fought on. Not really put out there like a, a trivial, trivial addition to the game. They felt like perks in earlier Call of Duty titles that didn't really add much to your game, like, didn't change much about how you played. Whereas now that they are tied to combat role, there's more thought put in them. I like that the medic can now run around with two gadgets. Because in Battlefield 1, it, they spend his time making grenade launchers. But no one's going to use them. Because if you're a medic, you're inherently going to run a syringe and a med bench. Not the case anymore. The assault being able to heal more is a, a passive ability. A, a, a very good ability. And obviously supports having better fortification abilities. Again massive benefit. However, recon getting movement speed when you're at critical health, I thought would be at 30 as you can see now, and it's not. It, I believe at this point is at 10, which is a very low number. You're going to die at that number 90% of the time. Hitting 10 and getting that movement buff benefited me twice in that 25 to 30 hours of gameplay. So I am saying that it, the ratio of its, of its um, ability compared to that of your uh, other passive ones that other classes have, I feel is a bit unfair, probably needs to be worked upon. Some extra things I'm going to talk about that just are observations of mine, I'm not too well versed, so take it with a grain of salt. Plane combat feels entirely absent. If a plane flies overhead in Battlefield 1, I shit myself. If it's a mirror mess, I run horizontal to it and I leg it. I don't have this in this game. If a plane flies overhead, I know it's not going to kill me because I'm not a single one has. It's just they need to be buffed or something needs to be done to them to make them more viable. Or we're going to see a mass Texas pilots in the, in the battlefield formula be somewhat changed because planes are as integral to it as, as tanks and explosions. Battlefield needs all these components to feel like a cohesive experience. Um, infantry versus tank gameplay, I feel it's skewed. The ta in the tank's favour, an assault should be able to at least, I like the ability to destroy a tank, but if not, at least be able to take half the damage of the tank, you can't do that currently. Graphics feel a bit weird, again I just think that's down to um, it being a beta. That's all I've got to say for this video, 
Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you in the next video, guys.